According to legal experts, all cases involving self-defense really come down to the facts. Self-defense is a kind of necessity defense. It is important to note not all the facts in this case have been made public. What is known so far comes from police. Investigators say the clash involved three squeegee workers and Timothy Reynolds, who allegedly charged after them swinging a baseball bat. What initially provoked the encounter has not been revealed. The idea is that when you are placed at risk of harm and when you are placed at risk of serious physical injury, injury or death, you can use lethal force to defend yourself, uh, but it has to be necessary. And that in Maryland means you also can't be able to retreat. Under Maryland law, the duty to retreat is the responsibility of the person who may be threatened. If you're out on the street, as is the case here, if the defendant could have run away, then the self-defense claim won't work. If you reasonably believe you cannot safely retreat, then the law allows you to use force to defend yourself. According to police, one of the three squeegee workers threw a rock striking Reynolds in the head, disorienting him. Investigators believe he was then shot by the 15-year-old who is now in custody and charged with first-degree murder. Maryland law also has what's called an imperfect self-defense. That's when the defendant could have retreated but didn't believe that was an option. It is unclear yet if that part of the law will play a role in this case. If the defendant unreasonably believed he was in danger and couldn't run away, then it would reduce the charge from intentional murder to manslaughter. In addition, Maryland law addresses provocation. The courts have allowed us to review what would a re reasonably provoke a person such that they aren't thinking straight and were acting in the heat of passion. Legal experts say these cases also require getting into the mind of the defendant. What would a reasonable person believe or feel in this situation? No word yet on whether the 15 year old will be tried as an adult. Reporting live from downtown, David Collins, WBAL TV 11 News.